Okay, so I almost ended up giving Mary Jane Byron my money too, but I did not. And this video, I'm going to explain to you guys why I didn't. So if you haven't watched my previous video on Mary J. Byram, please go watch it. <laughs> now, a lot of people watched that video and were quite confused as to why I was being honestly so calm in response to the situation and why I was actually calling for people to extend more grace to her and not really feed into this bullying culture. So basically, here's what happened. Like, Here's my experience. So I saw her post about the packages on Instagram and I actually sent my friend, uh, basically my best friend. Yeah, my best friend. I sent my best friend a DM and was like, oh, like Mary Jane is offering travel packages. Like we should go. Like this would be so dope. This would be so cool. Yada, yada, yada. Because I, huge fan of Mary Jane Byram, love the content, love how she travels, you know, love the lifestyle. So I wanted to be involved and I wanted to support now, back, back, like way back in the day, like we're talking 2018, 2019, Mary Jane actually had a GoFundMe up for her travels. And I donated a couple of times. Like, I donated a couple of times to that GoFundMe, you know, to help support her travels because she made a video that was titled, um, how am I going to do this? And it's still up on her channel, actually. So you can still go watch it. And she talked about like how expensive it was traveling, you know, how she didn't really have the funds to keep doing the journey, but she did, she did not want to give up. She didn't want to stop. And she was really close to making it to 100 countries. So I donated. I support it. You know, I was like, that's my girl. That's Mary Jane. Like, she's doing it. You know, like, she's cool. She's dope. I want to support. Okay, so you fast forward to today, right? I was like, I don't see why not. Like, I want to go on a trip. Okay, so here's why I did not <laughs> end up going on the trip and did not give her my money. It's because um, I did not see any itinerary plans or like flight travel plans. And also Mary Jane is not a certified or licensed travel agent. And although she's been to more than half of the world, um, she's seen more than half of the world, travels more than half of the world, that does not give her the experience to actually be booking other people's trips and creating, you know, itineraries for us. But it doesn't mean that she can she's a hundred percent incapable of doing it. But here's what happened, right? So I I started asking questions basically, right? I I did inquire about the trips. So I did, right? I was like, okay, like I want to know about um how you're going about this. I want to know, like basically I was just like how do these trips work? Like, okay, we send you our deposit, we get our tickets, we show up, and then like, what gets done? Like, what do we do? How is it all getting done? Long story short, I was not getting the answers that I needed. And so I did not send the deposit. And I just said, you know what? My first brain, which is your gut, right? Like, was not with it. Like, my stuff, like, it just didn't feel right to me to be handing over that much money, right? We're talking about like, 2k um to someone who has never shown that this is what she does like although what she does is travel she is not a travel agent she does not book flights and plan hotels and plan trips and give out itineraries that's not something that she's demonstrated that she does in the past and she really has never shown that she even had an interest in doing that and so the the reason why I've titled this video The Real Issue is because what I really feel the real issue is here is that unfortunately sometimes we are all a little too quick to jump on opportunities before we fully research them. And there's this thing, right, that happens with social media and that is parasocial inter interactions or parasocial relationships. Basically, a parasocial interaction refers to a kind of psychological relationship experienced by an audience in their mediated, remember that, mediated encounters with performers or influencers in the mass media, particularly on television or the internet. Viewers or listeners come to consider media personalities as friends, despite having limited interactions with them, right? Right. Parasocial relationships are one 
one-sided relationships. They are one-sided relationships where one person extends emotional energy, interest, and time, and the other party, the persona, right, is completely unaware of the other's existence. Parasocial relationships are most common with celebrities, organizations such as sports teams or television stars and internet personalities. What we're seeing in this whole situation right now with Mary Jane is parasocial relationships taken to the extreme. You trusted her. You felt that she was your friend or big sister in your head. She was your travel buddy. We have seen the world with her. We trust her, right? We trust her. So why would she ever do anything untoward towards us, especially, especially when it comes to our money? But remember, the other party, the persona is completely unaware of your existence. So Mary Jane only came to know the people who are involved in the situation because they gave her money and because their parasocial relationship with her was taken to an extreme. They trusted her so much that they gave her thousands of dollars and allegedly, and we have to say allegedly for legal reasons, thank you, because I'm not excusing her actions. I'm not saying it's okay, but I also understand how the internet works and the world works. So allegedly, she took the money and pretty much ran with it as far as she could. And then those who called her out, you could say seemingly early enough, were able to retrieve some of their funds. Some have not retrieved any of their funds back. But this all comes down to that parasocial relationship, right? Okay, just as relational maintenance is important in sustaining a relationship with our real life friends and family, relational maintenance also occurs in parasocial relationships through events, right? So events are her uploading on her YouTube channel regularly, her letting us know what's going on on her Instagram, her Twitter, her Facebook, her Snapchat, wherever she is, right? She has to maintain She has to maintain this parasocial relationship that she has built with us, right? That's why she has made videos um, in the past year. Yeah, the past year, last year. That's why she's made videos opening up a bit more, right? People used to say or used to feel that Mary Jane was not open enough with us. She wasn't transparent enough with us. She wasn't telling us enough. We didn't know enough about her. That's what happens in parasocial relationships. Because let's be honest, don't none of us know Mary Jane Byram personally. Like very few of us who are interjecting and interceding and, and, and injecting ourselves into the situation know her personally. Okay? So we all just strangers on the internet. And some of us were strangers on the internet who gave her money. And that's what happens in parasocial relationships when they get taken to the extreme. That is the real issue here. And when I say that that's the real issue, it's not me saying what Mary Jane has allegedly done is not the issue as well. No, that is that is a huge issue. But the real issue, right, the crux of it all, what we need to really explore and examine are our parasocial relationships to social media influencers, to YouTubers, to vloggers, to bloggers, to reality TV stars, whatever it is. How much are we investing in these people and why? Because I also almost gave Mary Jane Byram thousands of dollars to go on a trip with her. But then something inside me said, Don't do it because you already asked the questions and you're not really getting the answers you want to receive. So if you really continue to do it and it doesn't go the way that you would like for it, that's on you, sis. You shouldn't have done it. Now, that's not me saying that the women who are involved are at fault. They are not. They are not. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Mary Jane, I believe, is is not unaware, right? She's not unaware of this parasocial relationship dynamic. She knows that people trust her. She knows people love her. She also knows people want her life and want her experiences, okay? So she she, she profited from it. She used it to her advantage and she profited from it. But 
in an inappropriate way. Now, is there ever an ethical and appropriate way to profit off of a parasocial relationship when you are someone who has amassed the sort of viewership that Mary Jane Byram has? I don't know. That's a study for another day. Maybe y'all do it and talk about it, but that's not what this video is about. I just want you guys to realize and understand why my initial video was calling for grace. Why I was saying we need to extend grace to Mary Jane Byram and we also need to be examining ourselves and asking ourselves, how do we even get there? Like, how do we as the viewer even get to the point of wanting to send someone like Mary Jane Byram thousands of dollars to go on a trip with her when she has not previously shown that this is something that she can do, has done, and will sustain. How do we as the viewer, as the supporter, as the fan, whatever you would like to call yourself, how do we get here? How do we get there? How do we get to the point to where we're sending thousands of dollars before we're asking the questions, before we're asking to see the itinerary, before we're asking to see the flight schedule, before we're asking to see a breakdown of expenses? How do we get there? What gets us there? What motivates us to do that? What is our driving force? Once again, I am not blaming the young ladies involved because let me tell you something right now. Let me tell y'all something right now. If I had sent that money to Mary Jane, okay, and expected to go on that trip, that Egypt trip, and it did not go the way it was supposed to go, trust me, I would be just as upset, maybe even more so upset than all the young women involved. And understand, I would have called for grace even then. Because let me tell you something. Once again, this video is not about to be like my personal life, but I have been in situations before where I have trusted people and giving them a lot of money and they have done the wrong thing with that money to the point where I even had a contract with some people and they still didn't do the right thing when it came to the money and in 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 those situations I call for grace I, I, I call for grace because I understand that people know not what they do all the time and if somebody takes a dollar from me I hope that they do what they need to do with that dollar. I hope that dollar gets them so far. Oh, I pray that dollar grants them every wish they need. Uh, woo! Amen. I hope that dollar does everything and more for you. I truly do. Because you know what? You take a dollar from me, I'll get a hundred back. That's how it works. You take a hundred dollars from me, I'll get a thousand back. You take a thousand dollars from me, I'll get ten thousand back. You take ten thousand dollars from me, I'll get a hundred thousand dollars back. I will always get back what is mine. I will always get back what is mine. And the only reason why I can even come to those sort of conclusions and understanding is one because I had the lived experience. I wasn't always that person, trust me. I was not always this person. You take money from me, I'm ready to get to scrapping. I'm ready to get to. Am I going to get up? See? <laughs> Calm. I might have going to go back to that space. But as you can see, that used to be the space that I really, 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 whew, about the, mm, amen. That was the space I really used to live in and operate out of. And I don't anymore. But it takes work. But I want you guys to understand, that's why I was calling for grace. Because one, I was almost directly involved with this. I tell y'all, I was so close. Woo, baby! I was so close. Like, I was so close to being directly involved in a situation, which is why I'm like, oh, whew, amen. This is why I call for grace. This is why I call for grace because I'm like, yo, people get caught up. It's so easy to get caught up. It's so easy that once you start to do, you know, one thing that's not right, you continue on that path of doing more things that's not right. And then you kind of start getting out of control. You kind of start spiraling and you really don't know how to pull back from it. Right. And let's be honest. Mary Jane has built up an image and it's an expensive image to keep up with. And when I say expensive, I don't just mean the money. I mean emotionally, physically, and spiritually. It's expensive to keep up with the image that she has created, the persona. And none of us know what that's like. 
Okay? None of us know what that's like. None of us know what that's like. And so I couldn't imagine, I couldn't imagine building up all that she has built and then not being able to sustain it and then feeling like your back's against the wall and then, you know, being like, what's the fastest way I can get it up and running again? There were a lot of options. She had many options. She chose an option. She set it in motion, her, you know, a plan. And unfortunately, as we are seeing, this is, you could call it a fallout, may not have been the best choice. Okay. As I said in my previous video, I'm absolutely not condoning any alleged behavior or any alleged theft or scamming. I'm not condoning it. I'm not okay with that. I don't think it's cool. I don't think it's cool. Right. And as someone who herself has been in situations where people have done that to me. And also as someone who's been in situations where people have tried to accuse me of doing that. And that wasn't the situation at all, at all, right? And having to defend myself and having to, you know, prove myself. I can see it from both sides. I can see it from both sides. And all I'm saying is, we all need to extend grace. We all need to ask ourselves a couple more questions. And we also all need to interrogate the reason why we even get to these points of wanting to send thousands of dollars to these influencers who say they're going to do this, that, and the third for us, but they're, they can't, they're not, not going to say they can't. They're not answering the questions that we're asking them and giving us all the details and information before we, we cut the check, right? Just something to ponder on, just something to think about. That's all I'm saying. I love y'all. That's all I have for today's video. Please don't send no hate to Mary Jane Byron. And please don't send any hate to anybody who's sharing their story. Because I already said, if somebody feels that they've been wrong, they have every single right. They have every single right to express the wrongdoing that they feel that they have experienced. They always do. They always do. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay? And I really do pray and I really do hope that everybody involved in this situation is able to come out renewed. Okay? Amen. I love y'all.